Welcome back to Justice as we're looking live at the Empire State Building lit up tonight in the colors of our logo, red, white, and blue, in honor of Fox News's channel, Fox News Channel's 25th anniversary, which we celebrated this week. And for 25 years, our Fox teams have always been at the heart of the story for all of you, our viewers. And this week was no exception, as our team covering Biden's border crisis captured this shocking video of drug cartels shooting at a U.S. border station in Roma, Texas. Take a look. There you go. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh shoot. shoot. That's that's just indiscriminate fire. Here now to react, former Hawaii Congresswoman and former Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard, who is now a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army Reserves. Tulsi, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Tulsi, I Thank want you, you to think back to the 17 years when you were in the National Guard. If you could picture yourself or some of the uh, members of the Guard that you were with being in Texas at the border and having drug cartels, criminals with AR-15s, AK-47s, shooting across the Rio Grande into the United States at the National Guard. That's what's going on as we speak in the United States today. What is the Biden administration doing about this, and what should they be doing? Uh, well, first of all, for, for our soldiers who are serving down there, I'm sure they have rules of engagement uh, to deal with this sort of situation. But really, the bigger issue here, Judge, is that these drug cartels, these human traffickers, they are incredibly emboldened to the point where they feel that they can do this without consequence where they feel they can continue uh, profiting off of trafficking people across these borders that are essentially open. The Biden-Harris administration has an open-door policy at the borders, and it doesn't matter how many times Secretary Blinken or Kamala Harris or anyone from the administration says, uh, you know, don't come across the border. The reality is that people are being let in and crossing the border every single day. I think we look at the numbers. In August of this year alone, over 200,000 people were apprehended for trying to illegally cross the border, a uh, 317 percent increase over last year, August. And we're seeing hundreds of thousands more crossing the border who are not apprehended. Actions speak louder, in the, louder than words. And uh, the fact is that the open-door policy that this administration has in place is posing a humanitarian crisis, is creating a humanitarian crisis, as well as a very serious security threat for our country. Well, you know, at what point uh, do we hold Joe Biden and his administration accountable? I mean, do they actually, you know, there's so much going on from the border to COVID to schools. I mean, it goes on and on. You, you make a good point here. You know, the, the faith and trust that the American people need to have in our leaders is dropping every day. Uh, the, the Department of Homeland Security secretary recently told Congress, our borders are secure. This is what he said. This kind of bold-faced lie, whether it has to do with domestic issues or foreign policy issues, we've seen this with Afghanistan and the, the tragically botched withdrawal of our troops and, and Americans out of oh. Afghanistan. Uh, when people are being lied to, the American people are being lied to, it is revealing of the arrogance and the self-serving nature of leaders who are in power in this country and the disrespect the disrespect that they have for the American people, and, and it's why people are losing faith and trust uh, in those leaders. If we have leaders who respect the people, then the people will respect our leaders. If we have leaders who trust well, the American people, we will trust our leaders. And that's the problem here, is we don't have but, leaders but, who, who have that trust and respect and who therefore put do? themselves T ahead of Tulsi the interests of the people. Well, there's no question, but what do we do now? I mean, you've got Mayorkas lying, you've got Joe Biden lying, and we're not going to leave any Americans behind. I don't have to elaborate. Uh, you've got Kamala Harris there buying Americans cake still there when they're meeting with out. Mexicans. Exactly. But Kamala Harris, I mean, this is the vice president, all of them are a disaster. Blinken is a disaster. What are Americans supposed to do? Just wait till 2024? Well, we've got representatives of the American people in Congress who have a responsibility 
to hold the administration accountable. It's the basics of our of our civics 101. When we have this co-equal branch of government, the legislative branch and the executive branch, Congress needs to take action to hold this administration and any administration accountable to make sure that they are working in the best interests of the American people and Congress. And wow. this goes across both parties. Oh. They got to put the partisanship aside and put the well-being in the interests of the American people first. But it's not going to happen. Tulsa, you know and I know it's not going to happen. They have their That's why we got to keep happens. we got to keep calling them. We got to keep their feet to the fire. No, no, we got to vote. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We have a lot of respect for you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.